Labor has accused a state government backbencher of bullying one of its staffers who was handing out pamphlets at a city railway station this morning. Michael Gidley confronted the young woman, took her picture and demanded her personal details. She says she felt threatened and intimidated. He insists he did nothing wrong. Francis Bell reports. 26-year-old electorate officer Catherine Munt says she was handing out Labor pamphlets outside Parliament Station this morning when she was approached by a man she didn't know. Straight away I could tell that he was aggressive um, and angry in his demeanour. Um, he had a raised voice and he demanded to know my name and my personal details. The man identified himself as Michael Gidley, the Liberal member for Mount Waverley. Ms Munt refused to give him her details. At this point he took out his phone and he started taking photos of me um, and I tried to walk away from him and he chased me around the, the forecourt of the Parliament station. Two journalists witnessed the tail end of the incident and raised it with the Premier. Soon after, Michael Gidley rose in Parliament with his side of the story. As I was concerned at the information being distributed and the way commuters were being approached by these people who had refused to provide their names, I attempted to photograph their faces. He says it was the electorate officer and her colleague who'd behaved inappropriately, not him. While I remain concerned at the inappropriate distribution of material, I apologise for any offence that may have been taken. If you uh, offend someone, you should apologise, and that's what I understand he's done. The incident involving the Liberal backbencher overshadowed his leader's attack on the former Labor government for its handling of last year's auction of poker machine licences. An Auditor General's report found the process shortchanged taxpayers by $3 billion. For that $3 billion which is now gone, we could have built a hospital in Bendigo, a hospital in Ballarat, a hospital in Geelong, redone the Box Hill Hospital, Mr Speaker. The report also criticises the licence manager, the Department of Justice, for bungling the auction process. But the Premier says the department head, Penny Armitage, still has his confidence. Francis Bell, ABC News, Melbourne.